we're going to, as I posted to Angel, we're going to work on the design for the Blackjack game. And I encourage you to collaborate with other people. And let me first of all explain what I expect, because I think I kind of briefly talked about it, but maybe to go in a little bit more detail. First of all, sketch of the user interface. Notate it for like what is what kind of view you're going to have and what the purpose of it is. So if you're going to have linear layouts for the player's hand, a button for hit, and so on, do that. So just need a sketch like that. Doesn't have to be elaborate, um, but it, it should show what views are going to have. Now for the classes, normally in, in a lot of our object-oriented projects you develop what's called a class diagram. And a class diagram shows the relationship between objects. We don't have a lot of objects here, so I don't think a class diagram is really necessary. What I would like to see, though, is I'd like to see a definition of each class. And it could look something like this. The name of the class, deck, all right. What attributes that deck has? And if we said before, if you recall from what we said before, it has an array list of cards. All right. What methods it has? And with methods, minimally I need the signature of the method. That is, the name of the method, what arguments are going to be passed to it, and what results are going to come out of it. So, for example, we stated that there will be a no-argument constructor for this. All right? Now, on top of the minimum, it would be good to have some sort of comment about what the method is doing. So, for example, in this case, you could say that the constructor is going to create array list of cards. We said there would be a deal method. That, if you recall, there was no argument for, and it returns a card object. All right. Now down here, you could put some explanation as to what it does. All right. Minimally, I need the signature of the method. Ideally, I would need more detail. Like for example, we talked about when you deal a card, you remove the card from the array list. All right. So it can't be dealt again, and then you you know you return that card. All right. So a description of what it did in comments form. I'm less concerned about um, the exact format of this as long as I have the information I want. The sketch, a description of all the classes involved, including the activity, all right, and a description of the attributes and methods that that's going to have. Now, I'm asking you to work on this together, and I would like before the end of the lecture period, so before 6.30, to see what each of you have, at least so I can give you some preliminary feedback, make sure you're on the right track, or maybe make some adjustments. You are also a good resource for each other in the class. 
And one thing that you can do with objects is you can actually work through scenarios or use cases. In other words, you could say, all right, I hit the start button. What method gets called? I hit the start button on the game or the reset or whatever it's called. What gets called? Well, you know, the deal method gets called and the card is put in the, in the player's hand and it's shown on the player's um, UI portion. I hit the hit button. I hit the stand button. All these things, if you know in advance the methods that you have, you can work through. And even before you've coded, you can sort of have an idea if your design holds water or not. All right? So these are called use cases, typically, in object-oriented. And you can, you can run through a whole bunch of use cases. And they can be simple or they can be elaborate. You know, start out running through simple ones, just an ordinary game. Cards are dealt out. Um, person takes a hit and then stands, all right? And follow through the chain of events that are going to get called, the chain of methods that are going to get called, all right? You can actually define, then, uh, more elaborate use cases. For example, user busts. User asks for a bunch of hits and busts, all right? What are the chain of events that are called there? User gets blackjack. User gets, um, um, stays uh, without busting, all right? Then you could have the dealer stays without busting. Dealer busts. There's a tie. All these things are use cases, and they actually become test cases in your final product, all right? So your use cases that you're going to use to analyze and identify the layout of the um, uh, of your design and make sure that that is is reasonable um, becomes later on test cases because you said how you're going to handle it you've figured out that you're doing a reasonably good job of handling it then you go in and you actually test it to make sure that stuff happens the way you wanted it to now one thing I will say is kind of uh, funny with a, uh, a game like this that requires randomness, it's hard to test things. It's harder to test things. Like, you can't force blackjack. But if you play long enough, you can see and, and make sure and verify that that use case. In extreme situations, you actually can put in test code to sort of rig the deck, uh, as it will. Again, we had to do some testing where we had to write code. Uh, what happens if the database server blew up? All right, well, we're not going to go blow up our database server and test it. We're going to go and we're going to write test code that simulates that. Now, we hope that we remove that code from our final product, all right, but still, um, sometimes you can force the issue on these. So, I want you to work on this. Um, you are welcome to work together with each other. Um, I would, at some point, show what you've done so far with someone else in the class. And I would also, at some point before the end of the day, ask you to show me what you have so far. All right. Have at it.